Hello and welcome to Balloons with a Twist. I'm Daniel Twist and in today's edition I'm going to show you how to make a simple dog involving the 1260Q modelling balloon. First thing you need to do is decide on how big you want the dog to be. I'm just going to do a standard dog and leave approximately five fingers and a thumb uninflated. Then from the tying end, you want to make your bubble for the nose. I'm going to do approximately a two finger bubble. I'm then going to do two bubbles for the ears. I'm going to do approximately a three finger bubble. Another one, same size. Do not twist all three bubbles like so. You're going to want to push the nose through the last two bubbles that you need to keep it nice and secure. The neck, I'm going to do approximately two fingers. The front two legs are going to be the same size. For this, I'm going to do approximately a four finger bubble, two of them, and lock the them, like so. And then take this part of the balloon and push it through those two bubbles to secure it. Okay. The body is going to be approximately three fingers. The back legs are going to be the same size as the front legs. So it's exactly the same as before. Two three finger bubbles. Sorry, four finger bubbles. Lock twist. Take this part of the balloon. I'm going to grab here, you'll see why in a moment, and push it through. Okay, the reason I've done that, okay, is to prevent it from going a little bit funny, okay, at the end. Then what you do, I'm using my left hand, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little squeeze just here. And then this is a really great effect. A little blow, and there you have it. A little bubble. So some of you may be a little bit confused what I was talking about a moment ago regarding pushing this through. I'll show you what I mean. If I just push it through, okay, you end up losing some of this bubble, okay? Now, it's actually turned out okay here, because when I, do, um, when I give it a little blow, okay, it's, it's left about two fingers uninflated here. So that's turned out just perfectly, okay? But if you do the technique that I showed you, then you'll get the perfect poodle. There it is. There was a little bit uninflated at the top. Now you've got the perfect, basic one Blue Poodle. Thank you for watching. In this edition, I'm going to show you how to make a standard sword involving the 1260Q modeling balloon. For this, you want to leave approximately two fingers and inflate it. From the time end, I'm going to make an S shape, like so. You grab the center and then you twist. And remember, you're gonna to wanna to leave about, about, it's about three fingers here for the handle. And there you have it, just a simple sword. And if there's any of the balloon that's uninflated at the end, you just simply give it a squeeze like so. Sometimes you might wanna do this. And then just kind of a, and there you have it. Didn't need to do it for this one, but I'm just showing you that technique. There you have it. A very basic and very popular, especially with the boys, a sword. Thank you for watching.